In the recent weeks, we've been talking about $5 wheat, and Kim, where did it come from, and more importantly, where did it go? I think it uh, came from the drought. You know, you can go back into December, January, the drought started building up, build it all the way up into March. The, the market saw uh, yields going down for Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and so they bid up the price. Also, <clears throat> I really think that uh, with the drought that uh, yield per, per acre uh, declined, I think the, the market feels that the lower the yield, probably the better the protein and maybe even the test weight's gonna be. So that's what built it up. Now, <laughs> what caused it? Uh, we got some rain over the hard red winter wheat area. Not enough, I don't think, but we got enough to take about 50 cents off that, that $5 price. So rain makes grain, but rain also makes lower wheat prices. Do you think do you think we'll ever see $5 wheat again? Oh, I think we can see $5 wheat again because I think that the market is hungry for a good quality milling wheat. I think as we get into, uh, into the harvest in the late May and June, mm -hmm. that if we've got protein in, in that wheat, if we got test weight in that wheat and it's got good milling characteristics, I think the market's gonna wanna buy it early. Now you can wait later on out in the, in the market when the Europeans and the Russians and others start harvesting in July, August and September, think market, uh, the prices may go down then if uh, they have good yield and good production. But I think we got a chance if we'll have a quality product for $5 press wheat. Well, you kind of talked about it there a little bit about the world wheat crop. How, how can we compete with that? Well, you know, you, it, it, you've got the, uh, the short crop coming up here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you've got a shortage of milling quality wheat around the world. You can find it in Ukraine and Russia. You look at the Black Sea, um, late December, it was $192 a metric ton. That's about $5.23 a bushel. Uh, in mid-March, uh, they sold it for $217 a metric ton. That was about $5.91. So you saw a $0.68 cent world price increase over that, that period. Now let's just dive into the funds. Where, where, where does our wheat compare in there? Well, if you look at the funds, uh, especially the, the KC contract, mm -hmm. you can go back to uh, late January. They were short 88 million bushels of uh, hard red winter wheat. Mm -hmm. uh, by early March, they were long 97 million bushels. That's 185 million bushels the managed funds bought from late January to early March. I don't think you can buy that much wheat with having a positive impact on prices. Okay, thank you much. Kim Anderson, Grain Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.